He left a note. I love you too. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love BMF, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about BMF season three. After losing Kevin, what's next for Detective Bryant? So down below, I want you guys to give me your prediction for Detective Bryant in this second half of BMF season three. We know this first half, he did not have the best you know, story and losing his son. I know that's really going to get to him. I'm expecting him to turn up and I'm also expecting him to try to, you know, get a little bit of revenge. But then again, deep down inside, I know he got to be blaming himself for all this stuff that has went down with his son. But whatever he does, he's going to have to figure out a way to handle this in the best way possible because we know Henrietta and her pops, they just may be a problem. So we're going to discuss that in this video. Now you guys, make sure you check out my last video. I dropped the BMF Season 3 Episode 6 What to Expect video for you guys. And if you're a fan of Power, check out that Power Book to Go Season 4. Will Effie be able to make it out of the game legit? You know what I'm saying? Check that video out. Continue to keep yourself updated on all the latest content. And I will continue to give you guys these videos. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. Detective Brian. He lost his son, Kevin, in the last episode. Episode 5, man, it was crazy, man. A crazy action-packed episode. A lot of bodies got dropped off in that episode. Of course, two kids got dropped off. And one of those kids, unfortunately, was Kevin. And we know Kevin, he's had a very tough journey on this show. From being bullied, from getting pressure at home from his pops to fight back, to do this, to do that. You know what I'm saying? To act a certain way. Kevin... Time and time again, had to explain to his pops that he is not like him. He handles his situations differently. And even in his dying letter, he told his pops that, you know, that's what he does. You know what I'm saying? He's not like him. But he still loves his pops no matter what. Now, we know Kevin, he dropped off his bully, got him up out of here. And, of course, he was locked up. He was getting bullied inside. And he had protection because Detective Brian got help from Henry, right? But the sad thing is, once Detective Brian started messing up business... Henry said, you know what? I'm going to take that protection from your son. Not only take that protection, use them same guys to basically beat down your son and violate him. Now, that was completely messed up. And time and time again, Detective Brian would tell his son, look, just fight back, stay strong and all that stuff, which is easy from the outside. But Kevin, he ain't like that. He's not built like that. And all that stuff got to him. And unfortunately, we end up losing Kevin in the last episode. So now the question is, What's going to happen next with Detective Brian, his mentality? And of course, a lot of the fans already knew something bad was going to happen to Kevin based off that official trailer. I know it was a lot of people asking me how I knew Kevin was not going to make it. Well, it was in the official trailer. I mean, you can just tell from Gloria and Detective Brian being at a grave site that it had to be Kevin's. And I'm pretty sure Gloria, she will be very pissed off in this upcoming episode. I believe we will see that scene with them at that cemetery in the next episode, especially with all those bodies that got dropped off in episode five. Now, Detective Brian, he will have a lot of pressure on him because deep down inside, I told you guys, he blames himself. But at the same time, I believe he will want to get some type of payback and he wants to get back at Henrietta. We know Henrietta was the one that pulled out the protection from Kevin and those same guys violated him. And of course, we know what ended up happening to Kevin and... Henrietta was the one that took out Detective Amberson, a cop. And we know Henrietta, she has a problem with cops. She even mentioned this. She said her pops is cool with Detective Brian or whatever. They're all cops. They're all like a team or whatever. So she does not really have that type of respect for them. And I'm going to tell you right now, whatever type of game plan that Detective Brian is going to use, he needs to be very smart. I still think it's going to be issues with Henrietta and her pops, Blaze. And Blaze is not going to be happy when he learns what his, you know, his daughter has done to a cop, right? So it's going to be some family issues. I was talking about this weeks ago when I did the video on Henrietta talking about her blood family and her chosen family, right? 
So based off that alone, I already know she would have some type of issues with her, you know, her blood family. And she feels like the chosen family are more reliable that, you know, basically she can trust them a little bit more. And from the looks of it, it's going to be major problems with her blood family. But we're going to see what's going to happen when Detective Bryant goes to Blaze, because I think he will go to him and let him know what his daughter has done. We know she tried to take Detective Bryant out. She took out Detective Amberson. And of course, we know what happened to Kevin. So he's probably going to explain all that to Blaze. Blaze most likely will have a conversation with Henrietta. And I believe you want to see some type of backlash or maybe Blaze said, you know what? I'm going to ride with my daughter no matter what. But based off what we've been seeing, you know, this family issue, as far as she feeling like she needs that respect, she wants to take over and how Blaze is like, nah, I don't know about that because you are very reckless. You're young and you're doing entirely too much. Taking out an officer of the law, that's a lot. And that's going to bring a whole lot of heat that Blaze probably does not want, right? And on top of that, we know Detective Veronica Jen, she will feel some type of way about that as well because... You know, Amberson was her partner. You know what I'm saying? She had love for that girl. So you already know she about to turn up. Detective Bryant is about to turn up. And should Detective Bryant go and have a conversation with Terry? Because we know Terry, he does not like Henrietta. They have, you know, issues. Once again, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. We talked about this before episode five. When I made the predictions about Meech, most likely having a conversation with Remy teaming up and that was a prediction that I made because I believe that most likely that would happen now of course it did not play out the way that Meech wanted it to play out but for him to go to Remy after all the issues that they've been through lets me know taking down a common enemy is very very important so we're going to see if Detective Brian and Terry are going to do the same thing and you know how this whole story is going to end but man I'm going to tell you right now, I'm expecting Detective Bryant to turn up a whole lot after losing his son. He's going to have a lot of pressure on him. He cannot afford to slip up once again. And I'm pretty sure Henrietta, she got some more tricks up her sleeve. And I'm going to tell you right now, I would not be surprised if she even tries to take out her pops in order to take control over the whole organization. I mean, I will not put it past her. We know she's about to turn up in this next episode with that flamethrower. So y'all know what time it is. But I want y'all to leave y'all theories, predictions, leave it all down below. Let me know exactly what you think Detective Brian is going to do in this second half of BMF Season 3. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.